Hello everybody and welcome to this video. If you're new here then my name is Amber and I'm a first year medical student in the UK and if you're not new here then thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. As you can probably tell by the title of this video I go to the University of Liverpool and I'm going to be talking about what medicine course at the University of Liverpool is like so that hopefully if some of you are thinking of coming here or if you've applied then it gives you a little bit more of an insight into how you will learn because I know when I've read lots of the university's websites and when I was comparing different medical schools, it's hard to fully understand what the teaching is actually like. So I'm hoping that by having somebody explain it to you, you might be able to visualise it a little bit more and have a better understanding. So I won't lie, I have just recorded this video, I just realised that it wasn't recording. So obviously I'm going to do it again. Hopefully it's actually made me a little bit more prepared because I know what I'm going to say now. <laughs> so the medicine course at Liverpool is five years long and if you choose to intercalate then it can be six years long and the extra year of intercalation will be done after third year. Intercalation is basically where you do a different degree for a year and take like a step out of medicine for that time. The five years are split into two preclinical years and three clinical years. In the two preclinical years you basically learn about the science of the body and how the body works and obviously the illnesses before you are kind of thrown onto the wards and have to deal with it on real patients. In Liverpool, you do have some placements in year two though, so it isn't a complete divide between preclinical and the clinical years. You do have a nice little bit of overlap so that it flows nicely. So obviously as I'm in first year, I'm not gonna be able to talk in depth about the other years. I will be able to talk mostly about year one. However, the styles of teaching that we have in first year are very similar for second year and some of them continue all the way to fifth year. So I will be able to give a good overview of it hopefully. So the majority of the first first and second year is taught through lectures. Obviously at the moment they are pre-recorded online, however normally they should be in the lecture halls. And the way that our learning is divided is we are taught in system blocks. So I will leave a list of the ones that we do in year one for example, um, and it's a really good way to break down the body and learn it in manageable sections. Each system block lasts for about three weeks and within that we learn the anatomy, the physiology, histology, the biochemistry, things like that of the system that we're learning. So the way that the system's taught is that it's mostly lectures. I have about two a day. Year one and two, like I said, is very lecture heavy because you're basically just learning the science of the medicine. So like I said, I have about two lectures a day of the science of the medicine. And in first year, we focus just on how the body should work normally because you can't understand how it's gone wrong if you never know what it's like normally in the first place, if that makes sense. So, and then on top of that, we have lectures which are about kind of the more personal side of medicine. So we learn about entity, public and global health, medical ethics, legal aspects of medicine, psychology and sociology with links to medicine, history of medicine, some therapeutics lessons about how drugs work. And it's a really good way just to balance out the science so that you also understand kind of the people side of medicine as well. So as well as the lectures, we also have small group teaching. So most of that for me is done on Zoom at the moment, but normally you will meet in small groups. One of the types of small group teaching that we do is called Good Doctor, where we basically have workshops run by different members of staff that will teach us about topics such as smoking, alcohol, exercise, just kind of different areas of medicine for us to think about. We also have CCP, which is Communications for Clinical Practice. And that is one of the times in medicine where you do feel like you're in med medical school because you, you basically get taught how to take the history of a patient and how to kind of hold a consultation in first year. That is done in a small group and normally with a GP and then you have like a simulated patient who's an actor that comes in and acts as a patient for you to practice on and it is a little bit daunting but it's really fun and it really helps you to understand the people side of medicine and that medicine isn't just about being able to know what drugs to prescribe, it's about how you communicate and how you are with that patient. So it's something that I do really, really enjoy. I do think it's probably one of my favorite things that we've done so far. You probably will have heard about med schools doing PBL, so problem-based learning and CBL, case-based learning. And at Liverpool, we do case-based learning. So what that means is that at the beginning of every system block, we get a document which has about three cases on it, which are all linked to the system that we're doing at the moment. And then you'll have a set of questions coming after each case which you then independently research, look up and try and understand. And then at some point in the system block, you will meet with your small group, which is normally about nine people, They're just your peers, and you will discuss what you've learned for each question and kind of hope that everybody has similar answers and help each other to understand questions if you didn't understand it. And then a few days later, you will then meet with a bigger group, which could be probably between like 20 and 40 students 
and then you'll normally win a doctor of some form who will kind of go through the questions and randomly pick on the students to answer that question they've given you which is daunting I won't lie it's probably one of the things in medicine that I find the most stressful however it's a really really good way to be able to learn because I do come away from my case-based learning lessons feeling that I've really understood what we've done because it kind of forces you to learn the information. We also have anatomy lessons which is run by the Human Anatomy Resource Centre at Liverpool. So before we were in lockdown what we were doing was go to our anatomy lessons which would be about two hours every two weeks and you'll hear that some universities do dissections and some universities work with prosections and we work with prosections and it basically allows us to work with the cadavers to understand the systems that we've been learning about at the moment and kind of visualize it better you also get your own lab coat which you have to remember to take to the anatomy lessons too and then the next day we've been having zooms where we talk about what we learned the day before in the anatomy lessons and kind of just like delve into a little bit more i would say that the hawk center is really high quality and it's a really good facility that we have at liverpool and then we also have clinical skills which is one of the times when you feel like a medical student again because you get to go in in your scrubs and you get to learn the hands-on side of medicine. In first year, for example, so far we've learned how to do blood glucose tests, urine analysis, how to take people's temperature, kind of just you do basic skills in first year and then the complexity of the skills will increase as you go through the years. We also have a clinical skills suite where we can go and practice our clinical skills outside of our lesson time if we wish to, which is something that's really great. And there's like lots of models, basically the facilities that you need to be able to practice with there to use. And kind of just the extras that we also, we've had first aid day in first year. We also have like little modules online that we complete and we get certificates for. And then we upload into our e-portfolio, which is kind of just like an online workbook that we have where we will submit work that needs to be assessed or things like certificates, for example. In terms of assessment, we have end of system tests, which are about 20 to 30 questions just about the system that we've covered. It's just like an end of block test at A-level where it's just to use to consolidate your knowledge for that topic and just to check that you've learned it. Um, they don't count towards anything. It's just to check where you're at. And then halfway through the year, so I've just had mine, and you have a formative, which is a mock. Again, it doesn't count towards anything. It covers everything that you've done since the beginning of the year. Again, to check your progress, just to check that you're learning it and understanding it. And then at the end of the year, you have your summative, which is the final exam for the year. And basically, you just have to pass it to be able to get on to second year. The only other thing that you have to pass for the year as well is something called research and scholarship. Research and scholarship is, is a way for you to basically learn and appreciate kind of medical literature by being able to like analyze and experience reading medical journals and medical publications online so for example in first year we've had to complete a 500 word written kind of assessment where we've written an abstract based on a medical related ted talk and then as the years go on you kind of complete larger and more in-depth research and scholarship projects so you have to pass them as well to get on to the next year so just to briefly give a summary of the other years in Liverpool Med School in second year you recover what you've learned in first year but you learn how areas in the system can go wrong and how it can, you know what illnesses can be caused and I really like this because it kind of follows the spiral curriculum model where you cover, for example, the respiratory system in first year and learn how the respiratory system works. But then in second year, you then touch on it again so it's not completely forgotten and you then learn what goes wrong. So you build and develop each year on the, each system. You also do have placements in second year. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I think it's every so many weeks you'll go and do one week on placement in hospitals. And again, you just continue with your clinical skills lessons, you have your research and scholarship and you have anatomy and things like that as well. And then for your clinical years, which is year three to five, you're basically on rewards and on placements and in GP practices for the majority of your time. I think roughly you do about four weeks placement and then you have a week in university. They're called just in time weeks where you basically refresh on what you've learned for those blocks before you then go and see it again in, for example, a certain specialty on a ward. At the end of fourth year as well, you also have the opportunity to take an elective which is where you can go and do a placement in another country or somewhere else in the UK and so that's something that I'm really looking forward to and I know lots of people enjoy. You also have lots more specialty based placements such as placements in psychiatry and obs and gynae and paediatrics and then in fifth year you are basically just preparing 
for how to be a junior doctor and just gets you ready for work in life. You're also able to complete a five work research project in fifth year too. So that's everything that I've got to say in terms of the course, but obviously there are lots of medical societies that you can get involved with too at the University of Liverpool, the biggest one being the Liverpool Medical Society. Um, there, well, there should be, but there's not been this year, but there should be um, annual medic balls and lots of exciting activities to do as well as the actual studying side of medicine. But I think that's everything. The only thing I want to say is that obviously I go to the University of Liverpool, so I will be biased. However, I do really enjoy it. And if you are looking to come here, I do think the way that Liverpool teaches medicine and the way that the course structure is laid out is a really beneficial way to learn. I think having the pre-clinical years really gives you the confidence behind you before before starting your clinical years and I like that there is a little bit of an integration in it in second year Tim. The medical school staff have been great with the pandemic, we've been communicated with well and I do think that the quality of our online teaching has been delivered very highly Tim. So I hope this video has been informative for you, I hope it's given you a better understanding of what types of things you'll be covering in med school at Liverpool and if you have applied or if you're thinking of applying then good luck and I will hopefully see you in Liverpool in the years to come. But if you do have any questions feel free to leave them below or message me on Instagram, I'll leave my name here but it's just amber.biffin and, and I'll be happy to answer them. So thanks for watching, bye!